Hey guys, Berlin here with Spirit Centered Business and I just have a few tips because I know that so many people are being on Zoom right now and connecting online and Facebook Lives and maybe even FaceTiming. You're connecting online and you're using video to do it and here are some tips. Number one is look at the camera. Professional, amateur. Professional, amateur. Self-involved and I'm a TV watcher and I like to see myself and I want to see what's going on and self-aware that you are the audience. The audience is up there in the camera and I'm aware that I want to make that connection with you. Do you feel the difference in our connection when I'm looking at you versus when I'm looking at myself or looking at the screen? Can you just tell the difference between this and this? So I just want to encourage you to make that visual connection as you're using Zoom, using any kind of video, make sure that you're looking at the camera. I know it's awkward at first, but it makes so much difference. Okay, professional, amateur. Hey, look at me. I am navel gazing right now, talking to myself versus I am talking to you. I'm looking at you in the eye and hopefully you can feel my energy much better this way. All right. That's me over now. Okay, guys, this is Berlin with Spirit Center Business again, and this is my second demonstration of amateur hour on zoom i see so many people doing it like this looking down at their camera at their laptop with really bad lighting so in this instance i'm i'm not going to fix the lighting because we'll talk about that in a little bit but at least let's get the camera up camera up it's much more flattering angle and it just looks so much more professional when you put the camera at least at your eye level if not slightly above okay and i promise i'll fix the lighting in the next one but anyway that's this tip is get the camera up above your eyes look into the camera and get it up there all right okay this is another amateur hour is this wobbling all over the place nobody wants to get seasick okay so another example of bad bad zooming all right that's enough let's move on to the next one okay guys this is zoom tip that i have for you number one was make sure that you're looking in the camera instead of looking at the screen number two was having the camera down below you and instead of up and having it be a more flattering um view of you and then number three was jiggling it around make sure that your camera is solid you can jiggle around all you want but let the camera be solid because you don't want people to get seasick number four then is lighting have all of your your lights on your face well don't don't have half half in shadow or something crazy like that and then the fifth one is make sure that your microphone is good make sure that it's good clear sound it doesn't sound like an echo it doesn't sound like you're in a chamber um, currently i'm using the the mic on the uh, computer and you don't have to have fancy equipment to do any of this just set yourself in a good position so that it all works this is a a yeti that i use for the professional stuff and it's i would recommend it if your computer mic is not very good okay there you go you will be a professional zoomer in no time if you just take advantage of those five tips berlin newbie for spirit center business peace out